Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a super secretive, um, I guess, pet product haul. Most of it's from Amazon. I think one of the things I got was from Target. So we're actually getting, I'm doing it secretively because uh, we're, the kids don't know about this. So we're getting a puppy on Sunday and we're surprising the kids. They know that we're going to be getting a dog eventually, but they don't know that it's happening Sunday. So we've been hiding all this stuff, ordering it in our closet, trying to make sure they didn't see anything. We want it to be completely big surprise for them. So let me start off with the Amazon stuff here. So I got two of these little stainless steel bowls, one for food, one for water. Um, hopefully it's big enough. So the dog's going to be pretty big. It's going to be a standard golden doodle. So I think it's supposed to weigh about 50 or 60 pounds. So like a giant teddy bear. So I thought these were really pretty. I like the detail and they're, they don't s slip around. It's supposed to stay pretty well. So I got two of those, one for food, one for water. And I also got these training treats off Amazon. I think they were recommended by the breeder that we're getting the dog from. So as well as some dental dog chews. They're like a rawhide dental chews for dogs, enzyme coated. So the breeder also recommended these to help keep their teeth strong and clean. And this is a brush that we got. It's a slicker brush. And um, the one she recommended was like $75. So I went ahead and got this one. <laughs> I think it was only like $15 or something like that. So it's pretty cool. It has a button. So after you you click it like a pen, and then after you've brushed the dog, you click it again and you can just wipe the hair off. So from what I understand, they have pretty thick hair. So that should come in handy. And then also got this comb off Amazon. Uh, just that way you can get down, apparently you need this to get to the skin. Um, that way there's no mats underneath close to the skin. And also got a nail grinder. We do have already some nail clippers for the dog. But these, I guess like that always scares me, kind of freaks me out. I hate cutting dog's nails. I'm always afraid I'm gonna cut too close to the, is it like the quick of the nail and cause them to bleed. So I feel more confident using these. So hopefully this worked well. And here's some waterless shampoo. It's Burt's Bees. So we plan on using this between um, baths for the dog. That way we don't dry out their skin. And also got some Tearless Puppy Gentle Shampoo, Isles of Dogs Every Day, something like that. But this was recommended by the, the breeder as well during the puppy stage. And got this little bell. So what you do is you just keep it like a little... So it comes on this little metal rod here. So you place this onto oh, this is, you know, the hardware here. So you plate, I guess you um, screw this to the side right next to the door. And then the idea is to train the puppy to touch it with its nose or its paw every time they have to go potty. It's to help with potty training. And then we also got this two pack of washable pet pads and they are waterproof. So this will, this is what I'll be putting underneath the pin that I'll show you in a second. We got uh, like a metal kind of pin, play pin. So that way the puppy can kind of have an area to kind of play with and we can get in there with it, but it's not gonna have accidents all throughout the house. So we're gonna put that under that pin just to keep the floor protected. And then I got this from Target. So I was looking on Amazon. I didn't really find any that were the size that I was wanting. So apparently this holds 35 pounds of dog food. So I think the bag that I'll be buying is like 30 pound bag, something like that. But it's pretty cool. It's got a little lid and the scooper. If I can get it off. 
fits in the lid. So I'm sure that actually this probably will just end up being tossed into the food, but it's a cute idea in theory. I thought that was really nice. And snaps closed to keep the dog food from going, getting stale. Okay, so as you can imagine, we have things hidden around the entire house that we purchased for this puppy that we are getting. And it's been pretty difficult hiding it from the kids. So, you know, gotta choose different hiding spots. So this is the crate that we got for the puppy to sleep in. And it comes with a divider in the middle. So I know it looks really large right now, but you can actually divide it. So you're only using half the space. And as it grows, you can move the divider. So I'll show that and I'll set up to, um, on Sunday whenever we actually bring the puppy home. And this is also something I found on Costco. This was on sale. It's the fetch pack, chuck it. So there was a coupon on that for Costco. So that was a good deal. So I hear they have lots of energy. And over here, stuff we hid in our garage. This is the little pin that I'm gonna put in the living room. And that way it can feel like it's still part of the family, but not have accidents throughout the entire house kind of situation. So I'll show you that all set up tomorrow or Sunday. Last thing that we purchased, I'm hiding it here. I hope nobody opens this closet. I don't think they'll know what it is anyway, if they do see it, but it's a grooming system that I got off Amazon. And so I'm planning on attempting after some YouTube video watching, I'm going to attempt to do a haircut for the puppy whenever it needs a haircut and hopefully it can get used to that. I mean, I cut my son's hair, both my sons, I cut their hair. I've tried on my husband, but he has thicker hair. So we'll see how it goes with the puppy. Um, so these are just like a special vacuum clipping set. So that way the hair doesn't go everywhere. It had really good reviews. So I'll have to do another video on that whenever I do the hair first haircut. Oh, forgot one more thing that I did order off Amazon. This was recommended by the breeder. So it's a shampoo, conditioner, and detangler set off Amazon. So hopefully that keeps their hair really soft. So this will probably be something I use once they're past the puppy stage. And this is the blanket that we ordered. We figured we would just fold it up and place it into the, the crate at night for the puppy to sleep on. It's really soft and plush. It's got kind of a Sherpa lining on the inside and it's washable and it's also waterproof. So that should help with accidents if that does happen. So I got that, it's super cozy. And then I'll show you on Sunday, the dog bed we ordered. It's not gonna come in until Sunday. So hopefully it's Sunday during the day and we have it before the puppy is here, so. All right, puppies. All right, well, this is the dog bed that we also ordered off Amazon. And I think these puppies approve. What do you think puppies? Is it cozy? <laughs> All right, so we are on our way to go get the puppy. So we're, we're number six. We're six pick right out of seven. Yep. So that means there's two puppies to pick from. Yep. Yes. For us, that's a good thing because we like minimal choices when we go places. It's easier to pick. So, but they're all really cute. So either way, I think we'll be happy. So wish us luck. All right, this is the newest member of our family. Say hello to Maven Harry Summers.
Gentle pet. What's that? What's that tree? It tastes right. Mm, not sure. I've never tried it before. He seems to like it a lot. Yeah. Doggy, what does it taste like? Simon? I think we're trying out Simon. It's the name we're trying out today. This is day two. You can call Harry Potter. Oh, I need Tessa. <laughs> He's going to break All right, so two of these guys found the doggy door. Or not the doggy door. The doggy bell already. <laughs> so we're attempting to not do the doggy door because of the flies coming in through it. So we're trying to do the, the bell method, but I don't know how this is going to work out. <laughs> so basically day two of puppy being at our house is Chaos. Pure chaos. <laughs> to be expected, right? Are you sleeping with your puppy, Jessa? No, I gotta get something coffee for, for me and mommy. Okay. It's nap time for puppy. And a puppy. Beep. Two best update on how everything's going with the puppy so it is actually day this is our second full day with the puppy and I'm not gonna lie I'm going a little bit crazy <laughs> between having a two-year-old and a puppy and trying to keep up with both of them make sure nobody has accidents Jamie's starting to want to potty train so I'm trying to really jump on that train as as soon as I can because if he's interested I want to strike while the iron's hot kind of thing but Everything's going well. Um, everybody's showing the puppy a lot of love and he just seems to fit in really well with our family. So I feel like it's a good fit, but it's kind of tough. You know, my husband, he works from home so he can help out, but it's kind of just me and the dog and the kids. So we're all trying to work together as a team as best as we can. But it's been a long time since we've had a puppy. It's been years since we've had a puppy in the house. So. I will take any kind of pointers, tips with potty training or crate training. I think we are starting to realize that we actually need a crate downstairs as well. So that's another expense added to this journey, but it's kind of a one-time thing, right? So you got to get everything you need and then we'll be all set. So, but he's super cute and I'm really glad that we got him. So I hope you guys really enjoyed meeting our newest family member. And I'll keep doing different um, updates as he grows. Um, he's gonna get pretty big, so I'll do like try to do like a monthly update on how big he gets and how much he weighs. Right now he's eight weeks old. I'm not sure how much he weighs. Um, I'm sure it's in his paperwork. I could go with him on our scale, you know, doing the hold him and then subtract my weight from the weight with me holding him, I guess. But yeah, he's, he's really cute. He's a little bit of a handful, but everybody's really having a really good time getting to know him and playing with him and showing him lots of love. So like I said, any tips are welcome. If you guys want to comment below and let me know anything, I'll have everything linked below that we, I did show you in the haul of everything we purchased for him. And I'm sure that it's going to keep growing my Amazon purchases <laughs> for this puppy. So all right, well, you guys enjoy the rest of your day and don't forget to subscribe. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning?